Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a better GI. I'm not saying better, but more V-Ray like GI, because that, that's the thing. Uh, Cycles is a great render engine uh, as, as well as V-Ray, Corona and everything. Okay, but sometimes I feel that the GI propagation in Cycles is a little bit less intense than in V-Ray or Corona, right? But fortunately there is a way to kind of, you know, solve that in cycles and that's very simple actually. But it has to do with the materials of the objects that you want to cast more GI on your scene, okay? I'm gonna show you that. If we send it to render, okay, that's a very simple scene. We have just a sunlight and uh, wood floor with a Suzanne here uh, in red color. We can see the GI is happening here and it seems pretty fine, pretty okay. But if you, uh, if you see the same scene in V-Ray, you will notice that the GI happening here is, is more spread out all over the place, okay? And that's because it's how the render engine is uh, it's made right so it doesn't mean that it's less realistic but sometimes people like more when the GI propagates more and feel more uh, it makes the ambient look like more uh, sometimes if a floor is a wood floor or something it's more warm and you know the color bleeding is more intense than this but there is a way to fix that uh, uh, I would say the simpler way to fix that is like enhancing the diffusing bounces like I don't know 12 let's put 12 it's a lot of bounces okay so we see that scene is brighter now but you still don't see that much of the red GI it doesn't matter how far you go with your bounces here it seems that in cycles the bounces doesn't propagate that much and people like when this happened more and the other consequence of just doing this is because uh, increasing this amount of bounces here it will increase considerably considerable your render time and you don't want that okay let's go back to two that's what we have here and let's uh, do the trick okay let's see this is Susan this is the floor okay what you have to do here Let's uh, bring the GI from the floor up a bit. You don't want to go that that much up because uh, you may get some uh, issues on the shadows. But you can uh, definitely go higher than this. Okay, I'm gonna show you. That's the material. Okay, the only thing you have to do here is adding uh, hue saturation here. Okay. And we are going to play around with the node, the amazing node called Light Path. Okay, this Light Path, it's it's a uh, that's amazing, man. If you don't know what Light Path is, you should really dig into that because that will allow you to play around with so many things in V-Ray or in uh, Blender and the material that you had no idea. Okay, but for now we are gonna use this just the diffuse ray. Okay, what we have to do here is just basically use the diffuse ray here, just as a just as a as a mask. Okay, we will basically copy this guy, combine them. So now we have. We have a combination here and the factor is the place to plug the diffuse okay you plug the diffuse, the diffuse here but what happens it doesn't happen it, it doesn't change at all anything let's remove this it just doesn't change because you need to boost the value of your textures that's the main thing the value here the value of the diffuse this means that the value is going to be higher okay Look what happens if you put this, for example, tree. You see that your scene gets automatically brighter. 
and the uh, amount of bounces around the Susan got way higher. Okay, we are gonna do the same thing for the Suzanne. We're gonna take the Suzanne, gray to hue, saturation, texture, and that you see that will be more obvious. Okay, take the red, look at it here, mix, and use the light path in the diffuse all right so look we are going to render this just as it is okay without any let's let me change my compositor so we don't have any effect extra effect here okay we are going to render this just as it is by default let's go back to our, our bounces here to one Okay, let's render this as it is. And then we will compare. Okay, that's how it is. Let's put slot two. Okay. And now we are gonna take this guy here, put the value three, maybe. And this guy here, put the value three also and see how it goes you can see the GI is way more spread out and you can see the difference from both like right away okay so for some people this is more more or less the effects they prefer okay or you can put even two and reduce it a bit, but that's how you get your GI more spread out all over the place and brightening more your scene, okay? With no cost of a render time at all. It's just how the bounces will blend on your scene, okay? I hope you guys like that. If you like, uh, give it a thumb up. If you dislike, thumb down, but if you are really interested in more tutorials and uh, discussions about this topic from Max to Blender, Blender to Max, don't forget to subscribe. That's all for today. See you.